we want to do for dementia what has happened for cancer. We want to change people's perception of it and get away from a feeling of despair to one of optimism. GBHI plans to train uh, over the next 15 years over 600 people who will become world leaders in this area. And these people are coming from different disciplines uh, and will work across disciplines. We have a neurologist from Barcelona who's an expert in the diagnosis of dementia but who wants to extend that knowledge into how you translate that into prevention. For me the biggest challenge is the lack of public awareness um, because in, in, in many societies dementia is treated as a natural condition of the old age, not as a disease. And I think that has to change if, if we want to tackle this, this problem successfully. We have a, a linguist neuroscientist who wants to see if we can assess early on the onset of dementia using clever new methods for assessing language and brain function in a way that we can do assessments that are much less obtrusive and much more sophisticated than before. We know the statistics, we have the numbers at the moment of how high the numbers of people with dementia will be in 2020 and 2050, that the, the numbers first in 2030 will double and then in 2050 will triplicate. So we know that this is an epidemic, there's going to be a, a lot of people that will, have, will be affected in dementia in different ways. Um, I think a big challenge for society is how to manage this. And we have an artist who's been the most internationally acclaimed community art development person who's found ways to engage older people and to the extent that older people are engaged you're going to maintain mental stimulation and thereby uh, reduce the incidence of dementia we hope by maintaining what we call cognitive reserve cognitive functioning in these people. So I'm interested in who makes culture, why they make it, what, when and where, and I kind of think of culture as the grease and glue that sticks us all together. So I developed a particular interest in what happens as populations get older and the demographic changes. We believe this, this unique approach to training future world leaders in an, in an interdisciplinary fashion will actually be an innovative way to tackle the problem of dementia and lead to uh, dementia prevention in the future. And we want to be ready to translate the exciting new scientific developments that are coming out to have in place these incredible bunch of fellows from a whole range of disciplines to be in place across the world to rapidly translate the findings into real policy relevant changes to really help stem the epidemic of dementia.